While suffering a loss of 15 billion rupees due to the sugar scam, the government is now attempting to raise debt with the support of India and China. China yesterday had approved a 10 billion yuan currency swap to Sri Lanka. The swap is equivalent to 1.5 billion US dollars. What is a swap agreement? A swap agreement is two countries exchange an agreed amount on their own currencies. If I were to explain it with an example in this case, uh, where Sri Lanka will give China worth of 1.5 billion US dollars in Sri Lankan rupees on today's exchange rate to People's Bank of China. And People's Bank of China will give the, the bank of uh, the central bank of Sri Lanka yuan worth of 1.5 billion US dollars. So People's Bank of China will have Sri Lankan rupees worth of 1.5 billion US dollars and Central Bank of Sri Lanka will have yuan worth of 1.5 billion US dollars. That is what we call a swap agreement. How do you repay a swap agreement? So in this case, how do we repay is again the money that we borrowed from the Chinese currency or yuan, we have to give it back to the People's Bank of China. At the same time, China, uh, China's uh, People's Bank will again pay back the rupees that they got from us. In this case, there can be uh, interest in certain cases or there can be a fee uh, for administering it. But as far as I saw on the news, in this case, we haven't actually taken the money yet. It's a approval that at any time, China is willing to give us in yuan up to 1.5 billion worth of US dollars. So we haven't taken the money yet to Central Bank of Sri Lanka. So there will be no interest charge at this point. It is like an overdraft or an OD facility at a bank. For an example, bank will say, sir, you can even... Uh, if even there is no money in your account, we will honor the checks up to the limit of 1 million. So even if I take a overdraft of 100,000, there will be an interest rate for 100,000, not for the entire 1 million rupees. And what's the interest payment, which hasn't, the information hasn't been revealed yet. But it depends on if we take it or not. And in this case, there may be an interest rate or there may not be an interest rate, depending on the relations, bilateral relationship between Sri Lanka and China. Since the swap is in yuan, can we only pay for Chinese imports? Uh, the decision is basically with the Sri Lankan government and the central bank. So once we bring the yuan to Sri Lankan central bank or to the Sri Lankan account, we can do, we have the freedom to do anything what we can be done with yuan. For an example, yes, we can import, we can pay for the import from China from yuan or else we can, we can invest in yuan in any in any instrument that we can invest in uh, chinese yuan so anything that can be done but the call has to be made by the sri lankan government even if someone wants yuan and if they are willing to exchange it for us dollars that can also be done but the call is basically depending on the requirement so so far what the government has said they are not bringing yuan it's just to build the confidence for the investors is what the government had said so far. Meanwhile, in an interview with the Veera Kesari newspaper, Indian High Commissioner to Sri Lanka Gopal Bagli has said the Sri Lankan government's request for a 1 billion US dollar loan is under consideration. Sri Lanka had previously obtained 400 million US dollars under a swap agreement with India. However, after announcing its decision surrounding the East Container Terminal of the Colombo port, the Sri Lankan government took steps to settle the swap immediately. In his interview to the newspaper, the Indian High Commissioner had also said discussions regarding the economic and technology cooperation agreement between India and Sri Lanka, most commonly known as EDCA, has taken place on 11 occasions. The High Commissioner adds that an agreement has been reached to develop the Kankasanture port with financial support amounting to 45.27 million US dollars from the Indian government.